Hello viewers. Welcome to today's video. In this video we will be understanding how we can install the coupon API plugin for your website. As you know, manually updating your coupon website with the latest coupons and offers can be a very resource-intensive task. Coupon API can help you fetch coupon feed for your website from multiple affiliate networks and programs. It can save you a lot of manual effort. It is very easy to install and configure the coupon API plugin for your website. Let me show you. If you have bought Clip My Deals theme you can start your coupon API account by clicking here. It will take you to the PayPal login page. Log into your PayPal account. You will be then redirected to this page. Just click on agree and subscribe. That's it, your free trial should be activated now. Your login credentials will be emailed to you. Once you received your login credentials, go back to couponapi.org and click on login. Login with the credentials you just received. You will be greeted with our account setup wizard. Don't worry it's very simple. Just click on start here. On this page you need to select the country you want to operate in. You can select any country from this drop down. Alternatively, you can also select all countries. For now, I will go with all countries. Then select your account time zone. Then click next. Here you need to enter the affiliate ID for the affiliate networks where you have an account. You can select from the affiliate networks available. You can find your affiliate ID by logging into your affiliate program. There is a detailed document on couponapi.org about how you can find your affiliate ID, link will be in the description box below. You can also fill up your affiliate ID later if you wish to. Next up, let's select the stores for which you wish to pull feeds. You can choose any number of stores from here. However, you can select maximum 100 in each week. For example, if you wish to select 200 stores in all, you will have to select 100 in the first week and the remaining 100 in the second week. After the selecting stores, just click on next and your setup wizard is now complete. As you can see, it is now prompting you to go for the next step. You can click any of these options and it will take you to a detailed documentation guide. For now, let's proceed to the next step which is installing the coupon API plugin in your WordPress admin panel. First of all, you need to go to your WordPress admin panel. Go to Plugins and click on Add New. Now, search for Coupon API in the search box. Click on Install Now. After installing it, click on Activate. This should add a new section to your WordPress admin panel, like this. Click on it. It will take you to the Coupon API settings page. The first thing you will see is API key. You will find this API key in your Coupon API dashboard. Once logged in, you will be greeted with this dashboard. Just scroll down to find the API key. Copy this key and go back to your WordPress admin panel. Just enter the key that you copied here. Enable Autopilot from here and click Save. That's it. Coupon API feed should be now appearing on your website and would keep updating your website every hour. Let's check that out. Go to your website and click refresh. All the newly fetched coupons should be visible here. Now, let's go back to your admin panel and explore some additional options. If you have purchased the cashback plugin, just click on this toggle. This will make sure that all the coupons extracted from Coupon API will have sub ID parameter in its URL to track the user who has made the purchase. Let me show you. Enable cashback mode from here. You can also toggle this if you wish to import images as well. If there is no image associated with any coupon, the default store logo will be shown. Now click on save and then click on resync offers. Now just click on Coupons. Then navigate to any coupon and click on Edit. Scroll down to its URL. Here you will see the sub-ID parameter in your URL which is used to track the user. 
You can also manually upload coupons to your website if you wish to. This can be helpful if you want to make some minor changes to the coupons before uploading on your website. Just make sure that you have disabled autopilot mode if you wish to upload coupons manually. Let's say for example, you want to edit the description of certain coupons on your website. You can do that. Just go to your coupon API account and extract your coupon feed by clicking here. A CSV file comprising of all the coupons will be downloaded to your computer. Make the changes in this file and save it. Now go back to your WordPress admin panel and click on Choose File. Select the file that you just saved and then click on Import. Your updated coupons will be visible on your website. As simple as that. Now let's explore our coupon API account in detail. So the first thing you see when you log into your coupon API account is your dashboard. Here, you can see the details such as the number of affiliate programs you have added, the number of stores that you have added, and the number of feeds extracted today. You can fetch up to 25 feeds in a day. Which means that your website can sync with coupon API up to 25 times in a day, and that there is no upper limit on number of coupons in each of these 25 calls. Feeds are fetched every hour. However, you can also choose to manually fetch feed whenever you want. Just go to your WordPress admin panel. Click on Coupon API. Then click on Fetch Feed Now. As you can see, the number of feeds extracted has changed here. You will also see your API key and the last extract time here. You can also manually extract feed from here. If you want to understand the difference between full feed and incremental feed, please read our detailed documentation. You will find it by clicking here. Now click on Affiliate IDs. Here you can add affiliate IDs for the affiliate networks available here, if you haven't already added during the setup wizard. You can also add or remove any affiliate IDs anytime from here. You can also select a default affiliate from here. Then click on this toggle here. This will make sure that coupons from those affiliate networks, where you do not have an ID, will have your default network's link. Pretty cool, right? Next up, let's click on Sources. Here you can select the affiliate networks from where you wish to pull offers. Then click on Languages. Here you can select the languages that you wish to include in your feed. Now click on Add Remove Stores. You can just click on this toggle to add or remove that particular store. Offer for that store will not be pulled. Also, if you have already created some stores on your website, you can map them to your existing stores from here. Let's take Amazon.com for example. I have a store in my WordPress admin panel named Amazon. I can map that store to Amazon.com here. All I need to do is just copy-paste the store name from my admin panel here. This store is now mapped. Next up we have Category Mapping. You may be having many categories created on your website. You can map them to the categories available here. Let's say for example you have a category named Watches and you want to map it to Accessories. You can easily do that here. Just add the category name that you wish to map. In this example, watches. Then, we have logs. Here you will see the details of all your feed extracts along with date and IP address. Next up, we have network API keys. You can enter your network API keys here. If you click on any of these question marks, it will take you to the page where you can find your API key. You must be thinking that why would I enter my network API key? They use their own API keys to import all offers from the networks. But sometimes, it may happen that Coupon API is unable to import the offers for certain merchants. For example, if the campaign is not approved for their account. In such cases, you can enter your network API details here, and they will import the missing offers using your API keys. On some networks, they also use your API keys to confirm if your affiliate IDs are missing or correct. 
This way, you will be able to prevent any loss of commission. But again, this is completely optional. Then we have the coupon database. Here you will find a list of all the coupons that are active. You can click this button to reveal more details about the coupon. Lastly, there is my profile. You can change your password anytime from here. You can also change the countries and account time zone that you selected during the setup wizard from here. You can rerun the setup wizard anytime by clicking here. You can read detailed documentation here. It is a comprehensive document that will solve most of your queries. However, if you still need further assistance, you can reach out to our support team by writing them an email at help at couponapi.org. That's all for this video. For more such tutorials, please subscribe to our channel.